What are some of the things that you counsel your clients around healing our relationship with carbohydrates? I bring it down to the gut microbiome. The gut microbiome is getting more and more press through research as well as popular press. And we see a distinctive change in the diversity as we hit perimenopause, where there's a significant decrease in the diversity. When I talk about helping our gut microbiome, we need to eat lots of colorful fruits and veg, and we have to look at a lot of sprouted grains and other ancient grains, which yes, is carbohydrate, but it doesn't have the same impact on your blood sugar and all of our hormone responses as if we're looking at the ultra processed carbohydrates. When we start bringing back down to we want to take care of the gut microbiome and we need carbohydrate for that from the stance of fiber in the carb. As we're fueling, we need to have a really good control of our blood sugar. If we are not having a good control of our blood sugar, we actually can't fuel our exercise. We start to get over the carb phobe by first introducing more veggies. And then I feel like I have a big win when someone will actually eat a piece of toast. Yeah. I'm like, oh, look mm -hmm. at that. You're eating some toast. That's fantastic.